everybody. This is Mama Faye. I have been organizing my Gracie. That's my that's my RV. I call her Gracie. Uh, today and trying to get things in order. And I've looked in each cubby and said, "Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, this will work out good." Uh, no, I got too much there. No, take some of that back into the house. And stuff like that, and uh, and I, I thought, well, okay, you know, if I want to go right now, I could go somewhere. But then I looked around, I didn't have anything that I could wear. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to wear? I can't wear the same thing. Well, I guess I could take that arm off of this, an arm off of that, and readjust and pin it back on when I wanted to have a new look. Anyway. So anyway. I went upstairs and I got a bunch of leggings and I rolled them up and I put them in a little bin. And, and I'll show you all that. At some point. Um, but I feel a little washed out. It is. It was only in the 80s today, but felt like the 90s. And I think it's a, uh, you know, on into that. But it's supposed to be cool tomorrow, because it'll be a nice little uh, front's coming through, and I see the wind is blowing just a little bit, not much, but just a little bit. Put the wind up. I, I don't know. Uh, um, anyway, I was thinking, uh, why do people litter? I have a convertible. And I'm trying to keep everything down that I have in my seat. So afraid that something will fly out. You know, and, uh, I got, I got something. Uh, got a little varmint in here. Missed him. I don't know where he is. Anyway. And I saw, I went riding in my my convertible. Went up the street. I said, well, I'll just go through Haynes Mall and uh, maybe go into the center court. See what new stores they have or stores that's not there anymore or whatever. And so I was getting ready to turn into the, uh, to the mall, and here come a bunch of guys in a convertible, and they had been to a, a toy store or something like that, and they had these, uh, big old, uh, guns that you shoot water, water pistols, you know, one of those, you know, you can play in the water or whatever, and it shoots 50 feet or whatever, and they were throwing everything out, everything out of the car, the, 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 the wrapping around it, the, the, all the cardboard around it, you know, the, the information about it, how it works, and all that, and I thought, where is a Barney when I need him? I, <laughs> I was in, I could not go straight. I had to make my left hand turn. They were going straight. They were at the stoplight and, uh, and their light, my light changed. And so they got to go. And I put all this litter on, you know, that they had picked that. Well, I turned it. Turned the corner, I uh, parked in uh, a parking space, and with my and, and trusting with my life, I go over there in in the where they threw it out and picked it all up and put it in a bag. I had a bag in my in my trunk, one of those I had got at Aldi's, and I just filled it up with with stuff that they had thrown out. What? Why? Why? I was at Lowe's, and there was this guy, he was waiting on somebody in front of Lowe's Home Improvement. 
he rolls his window down, his really, really nice Cadillac. Roll it down, had looked like a receipt or something, and threw it out. Well, I didn't feel too brave. Normally, it would just, like, really piss me off. And I'd say, I'd drive up, and i said, you need to pick that up, or whatever. But... Right now, you don't know if they've got a gun. He, they'd shoot me between the eyes. So, it was sitting beside of his car. So, I I was right there behind him because I thought he was going. But then I realized he was stopped. I went up beside of him, picked up his receipt. And went, and I took it back to the car, put it in trash. Do you think any of them learned anything from what I did today? Or, and the other one, but it blows out another day. No. They're probably just the ones that still throw out lit cigarettes. You know. What does it take? Like, in, in, in some places in America, I, when I went to Maine, I did not see any trash anywhere. No litter. No litter. I mean, they had high fines. I remember it was high fines. I don't know how much it was, but it was really high fines. We need to go up on the fines to North Carolina for one thing. And, and, but, but in, and, and I, someone I talked to today who had gone to, um, Alaska and said, no trash. Very clean, very neat. Everywhere they went. Of course, they probably had a certain route they went down. And they made sure all the trash was up. You know, but... And it concerns me all the... All the people who have to live in tents and things like that. And they don't pick up after themselves. I don't think they know better, some of them. But there's bags and stuff. I saw plastic bags and stuff. At this one area where they were, there was a bunch of people living, and this was here in Winston Salem. I had to call the city and had to tell them that, you know, it needs to be cleaned up. Had old mattresses in this is like wooded area. I'm very observant. I am probably more observant, observant than most people, and uh, they they clean it up, and there's nobody that lives there anymore, which is good. But why does it take the city workers and our taxpayers' money to clean up when it just takes just one thing of kindness? You know, you know, when you go, don't don't throw things out on the street. Don't throw things out or clean up around your house. I don't care how poor you are, you can be clean. You can be clean. My mom and dad, uh, my, my mom lived on a farm and and the, everything was immaculate and they weren't they weren't rich people at all they weren't even middle class they were they were they were farmers well not that they're not middle class they're not farmers you, you know what I mean and they kept clean you could be every everybody uh, any uh, had an aunt that was just really you know she she was on hard times, and her house was spotless. Her house had never even been painted, you know. And this is way back when I was young, but I remember it was such good. Gave me, Mama taught me so many good values. My dad taught me so many good values. Where is that these days? Oh, there's got to be some changes, but we can do it. One person at a time. It won't hurt you to pick up around when you go for a walk. I, I looked out and there's a bottle in my front yard where someone had thrown a, uh, it was a, um, one of those uh, juice bottles. It, they'd thrown it out of their car in our yard. So, of course, we, we have to pick up every week. Got to be something in our yard. Well, other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how was the play? Anyway, I'm I'm so thankful that I was able to just sort of rant a little bit today about things. 
um, you know, maybe I touch one person that's been doing it that th thinks, well, you know, I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should just throw it in my floorboard. <laughs> Anyway, I love you. Mama Faye loves you. Always have, always will. Just try to pick up after yourself, folks. I mean, that's all it is, all about it. And I love uh, each one and every one of you. So until next time, Mama Faye gone. Mwah.